So agencies like us at the Rural Fire Service are working with, with our, our other collaborators on this project and looking at two particular things about how we can look at research outcomes to, that can be applied at scale. And that links to practice-based evidence. Now we're looking at our own programs and activities and, 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 and asking ourselves, are they making any difference when it comes to DRE? Are they having an impact? What we wanted to do is to expand the horizon in emergency planning so that we're looking more at the consequence management phase and also the recovery phase. And expanding the, the groups that we're talking to so it's now looking at the actual uh, community capability. What are the things that are influencing these events uh, in the future, which is really important when we look at our future plan? You know, that whole, as I mentioned right at the start, the whole uh, conflict between development and, uh, and natural hazard and public safety is so important when we're uh, looking at our future. We've got climate change, uh, which, is, which is very strong, but when we're looking at our past events too, we've got to look and see what are the extremes that we've po uh, possibly uh, had in the, in the past as well that we need to look at more into the future. You know, when we look at extreme heat, we, we know that we're going to get more heat waves. We know that we've got a greater risk in terms of coastal flooding or sea level rise. We've got to start to consider these more and more in terms of the way that we build our communities and build our infrastructure networks. In terms of what we're doing at the Australian government level to implement the framework, since its adoption in March of 2015, we've been exploring options to embed the framework's guiding principles into our existing efforts to reduce disaster risk. Um, and this year we've more deliberately started to consider how we can specifically implement the principles and activities promoted in the framework into our national policies. So I guess part of the challenge um, for in terms of reducing disaster risk and also in really truly engaging the capacity of our community to do some of the things that we've been described very, very well today is how do we make it usable and palatable and something that I want to do. It absolutely has to be something that, that I care about. 